hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing well so in this video i am going to show you how you can create the rain effect like this using the blender so without any further delay let's get started and i will also put the that project file link into the uh, description you can download from there free so let's start a tutorial how you can make that rain effect using the blender so i'm just uh, stop that animation and i'm switching the so here you can see guys uh, i have a one um, pot here okay i'll just make a one pot using the cube and here i have one plane and here i have also one plane and uh, for particles i have one icosphere so i'm not going to delete that cube okay i'm just going to delete uh, everything except the cube okay guys and i'm going to delete that light also okay so first i'm just going to uh, making one plane here okay and i'm going to scale like that and uh, then after that i will go to the edit mode and i will click right click on that plane and here is the option is subdivide so i will subdivide that cube 100 times like that and uh, after that i will uh, create one more plane same size plane okay and you can take bigger than also and I'm just going to drag it a little bit like that and after that I will add uh, one ICO spare and I will decrease this subdivision level because if you increase the subdivision level that animation will be heavier okay so make sure uh, you just uh, uh, decrease that subdivision level so after that I will select that bottom plane and I will go to the uh, our uh, physics panel and here is option is dynamic plane so i will click on the dynamic plane and i will set that dynamic paint type as a canvas and i will add canvas click the add canvas and here i will change the surface type to wave okay then after that i will go to the i will select the uh, top one uh, plane and i will again click the dynamic paint and i will uh, right now i will change the canvas to brush and now i will click the add brush and after that i will change the uh, shores paint to particle system so right now here you can see it's uh, asking the particles so right now we don't have any particle system on our scene so first we are going to create a particle system new particle system so i'm just going to add a new and uh, here i will set the 250 number of particles and i will change the render as a object here and here he is asking the uh, our object so i will just click the i button and click on that icosphere so after that i will uh, select that top plane and i will go to the physics settings and here i will click the that i will select that particle setting which is we created okay so when i play the animation so here you can see when I play the animation here you can see we have uh, that uh, rain effect here you can see and I'm just going to smooth our plane so we will get the much better result and right now you can see we have a equal size of uh, drops so if you want some randomness on these drops so I will just click the that plane and I will go to the particle settings and here is the option I will uh, here is the option is the scale randoms so when I increase that so right now now you can see when I'm increasing and decreasing so here you can see that particle size is changing okay and now it's become random so now I will play the animation here you can see we have a random size of uh, drops okay then after that I will uh, put the material on it so I have already created one material for that and uh, that is the very easy material okay here you can see and I will also put the project file into the description so you can download from there okay and you will also get that node so now I'm going to play the animation so here you can see we have a realistic uh, rain effect so right now we don't have a material on our cube so what i will do for that i will select my ico cube ico spare and after that i will select that water 
and after that I will click the control L so here is a make link so I will link as a material and uh, whatever material on that so it will link same it drops now go to the camera view here you can see that drop also have that water material and it's looking more realistic so here you can see guys how cool it uh, looking so thanks for watching this tutorial guys if you learn something in this video please hit the like button hit the share button and subscribe my channel also and if you have any queries if you have any suggestion please let me know in the comment box i will definitely reply your comment so bye bye take care stay home